Howdy. A little quake watch. Mostly Europe. There is something going on, a sudden surge of earthquake activity all over the place in the last few hours. Five hours ago, again, 6.0 at the Reykjans Ridge. And there are others at the same place, which are rather fresh quakes. We also have north of um, the Canary Islands, two hours ago, 4.8. I don't know, that's two hours old, 3.4. 30 kilometers in depth. So remember, we have the LLSVPs underneath there, low, large low shear velocity zones. Magma plumes, in a way. This might be yesterday's quakes. Here we have still action, also here. So the Strait of Gibraltar. Also, there is something going on near Valencia. Mm. 46 minutes ago, five hours ago, this was probably the first one of these, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it seems like that it was. There's like earthquake reports, which is very nice that we have quake reports from Spain. Sometimes there is nothing, they just don't tell anyone. And I have been checking out this one. In Norway, I have made once a few videos or two, or I don't know how many there were about quick clay landslide activity in Norway. And here we have Mountain water all over the place. Many, 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 many lakes. And water veins and all this kind of stuff. And one quake also. Here. It seems to be a glacial quake. I don't know, it's, it doesn't say anything about the glacier. But I noticed this one, and also here. So let's check it out what it is. But first take a quick look at this quake, 1.3. Zero kilometers in depth. Again, Norsar never tells us anything. So the quake happened above or at the very close vicinity of the Laerdal Tunnel is a 24.51 km long road tunnel connecting the municipalities of Laerdal and Orland in Westland country, Norway, and located approximately 175 to 200 km northeast of Bergen. The tunnel carries two lanes of European Route E16 and represents the final link on the main highway connecting Oslo and Bergen. Without ferry connections and difficult mountain crossings during winter, it is the longest road tunnel in the world, succeeding the Swiss Gotthard road tunnel. In 1975, the Parliament of Norway decided that the main road between Oslo and Bergen would run via Fliefell. In only two, Parliament confirmed that the decision, that decision, made a further decision that the road should run through a tunnel between Lerder and Orland and pass legislation to build a tunnel. Here we have the tunnel. And this is some design in order to keep people awake while driving through the tunnel. <clears throat> yeah, it's really boring to drive through a tunnel. I have been driving several times through the Gotthard Tunnel, which is obviously the second longest tunnel in the world. So now we have this tunnel here. You can read the rest of that if you want to. And there has a quake been happening. This is obviously the tunnel and the quake is here. 
So I know these quakes might not be really exactly at the spot where they are marked. But let's just try to measure how far off it is. Some 300 meters from the quake. Yeah, quite close. Which is interesting. So I just think about infrastructure, the state of the world at the moment. Is there anything that would be, would there be interest to disrupt this kind of tunnel systems or whatsoever? Furthermore, um, mountain water and such things. I think that glaciers are contemporary lava streams made of water, which probably means that the glacier carry mountain is actually a volcano. And volcanoes, they have their own fluctuations in their activity, which is very much linked to solar activity. This feature has almost a hexagonal shape. Very interesting. And I don't know what's going on here. We have darker spots and all these kind of things. Somewhere on a glacier. Skalsjoen. The quality isn't that good. They don't tell us the name of the glacier or whatsoever. There's a glacial lake, seems to be more or less frozen, but it isn't, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I find these kind of things very interesting. Is there a possibility that there is every now and then, or in certain spots, there is like coming up warmer water or even gases? In the middle of the lake, which could melt bubbles, melt holes through the ice top on top of the lake. But I don't know. Maybe these are just glitches in the matrix and I am the crazy one. Maybe not. There has been another quake in Norway, which here which I found rather interesting. This one here, 21 hours ago or 20 hours ago, Gävleboraja, Sweden. Like, if you watch at this region, there are like one circumpolar shape and two. And maybe they have even this, in a way, hexagonal shape as well. But they seem to be rather round, which might be interesting. In a sense of expecting future activity on whatever places on Earth. This seems to be gypsum containing water, limestone and such things. Very interesting. Very interesting. There should be the oldest rocks in the world and stuff, but there is limestone digging going on, so something doesn't really match up. Croatia also got hit. Is it Croatia still? Yes, it is. 3.4. Three hours ago. So we have a sudden peak in earthquake activity. And I have been watching a little bit Earth's magnetosphere. We can go over here to this page. Geospace magnetosphere movies. We are watching at velocity in this one. And... This is 
almost the uh, action now. Check it out. This is when it started. There was a lot of pressure around it. And not too long ago, Four fifty UTC. Still nothing. Now it starts. You can see this is moving forward towards the sun. The sun is here on the left, and that's the stuff which which is coming from the sun. Now you see this is moving there. It's expanding, and boom. It just opens and there is this very interesting thing which might make a straight connection to earth there is something very interesting going on at the moment and right at the end of the sequence you can see how it's again increasing but we have to see what's going on there so that's just the speed solar winds and this just happened some hours ago simultaneously with the quakes increasing all over the world yeah now you can see that it's, it's getting compressed again now let's check out this one that's density the darker it gets, the more dense it is. So it's all white, so there is almost no density around Earth. In a way, like a vacuum. Uh, no vacuum is probably not the correct word but anyway somehow it gets the density is so low that it just expands our magnetosphere has the possibility to somehow expand very much and this has effects obviously and known effect on earthquake activity seismic unrest Probably mental, mental health issues, people with weak hearts and all these kind of things. These are big fluctuations. Now it starts. One, two, now. Very interesting. To see this is happening and let's see what's coming after that from the sun in what kind of conditions earth will be in the next few hours after this hit of solar activity this might be the impact of the coronal hole dark plasma so back to the quakes we might just have to expect still more going on. 16, that's a yesterday quake. There's also something going on in Switzerland, Lake Geneva. But that's, I think, from yesterday. Yes, it is. Montreux. Smoke on the water. Probably heard this song once. Smoke on the water. A fire in the sky. Yeah, the song tells about Montreux Jazz Festival and it burned down and the smoke was lingering over the lake, Lake Geneva. So five hours ago, six, zero at the Reykjans Ridge. And there is turbulent space weather going on. And let's see to what it will lead. There is something to be expected, I guess. 
Yeah, there's also action here going on. Let's see how old they are. 48, 6. It's not really possible to click on this big one here. 11 hours ago. So this has been before Earth's magnetosphere got rocked. Also this one. Tomok Bolon. Six hours ago, that's a little bit deeper, 19 kilometers. Yeah, interesting times, interesting times. Some volcanoes just got downgraded. White Island isn't really dangerous anymore at the moment, they say. But there might be other volcanoes popping up on the list today. But I think I leave it here. A quake near the longest tunnel in the world. Very interesting. Thanks.